So I remember being in like seventh grade, and um, so so when I was in seventh grade, I always wanted to make some type of cash money so I can buy something at like uh, lunchtime because I was always on like the a free lunch, so we didn't get any cash. I believe it was like a card you show or something, and then you know you 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 uh, get the free the, the free lunch. So my mind started to think. I was like, "How can I get like a like a, a, a couple dollars so I can, you know, buy like a, a extra cookie or something like that?" So basically, what I used to do is, um, before I got to school, I used to uh, take candy from the, from the store. I would I would bring the the candy to my classroom and I would sell the candy, and I would make like maybe like two three dollars or five dollars but then that was money i can use at lunchtime to to get me some type of food that i actually i really wanted and it's kind of crazy because around that time i didn't realize that um you know i was you know like i had that type of mind like that type of business or like entrepreneurial mind but when i look back now it's like damn you know, I was kind of uh, doing it then, and I was in, in seventh grade. I was a kid, so um, it's just crazy to see. Um, you know, like we don't really change that much as we, you know, I think we do. We kind of always had these skills or like qualities. It's just all about seeing it in yourself and bringing that, just um, bringing things out. Um, and you know, I I, I also remember with like uh, selling candy where I started getting more savvy. So instead of like buying the candy first or something like, uh, sometimes I would steal the candy. But instead of doing that, like what I would do is when I was um, in school, I would like write down the names of the people and like uh, what they uh, wanted. So like if a student said, oh, I want a Twix or I want a Kit Kat, I'll write that on like a paper and I'll be like, OK, a uh, uh, Brandon wants a Twix. I would let's say I charge him a dollar. So I would take his money for that day. So I would collect like ten ten dollars and the next day I will come in with the stuff. So I would keep the spread. The spread might be like five dollars. Um, but I realized that getting things up front, it, it lowered my risk and it was just a, a, a easier way instead of like, you know, buying it first and then seeing if it sells. It was like I had my stuff pre-sold before I even bought it. And that's how I learned basically to like flip and uh, uh, double your money.